Now, your local weather authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Hey everybody, it was up kind of early and uh, went over to Meridian Elementary School there in Brazil, not far from where I live, and I uh, got a chance to talk with the kindergarten students. They had three classes all together. Here's the first class right here. Here comes the second class. We talked about weather forecasting. We talked about weather instruments. We also talked about safety tips for thunderstorms, and they're real good on that. And then here comes the third group here. They were real interested in, it seems like, in tornadoes. We talked about that as well. So hello to my new friends over at Meridian Elementary in Brazil. Had a great time. Kindergartners over there. Some smart kids over there in Brazil. How big was this storm that came through yesterday? Well, for here at the station, the biggest two-day rain, because we got a little bit of that before midnight, and then most of it came after midnight yesterday, but the biggest two-day rain in six months. We had to go back to those. Remember the big derecho that came through here on June 29 and then early July? We got the big storms. We had to go back that far to find a bigger two-day rain, so that's how big that was. And there it was, 4.35 inches back there in the first part of July. So biggest two-day rain in six months and record low January air pressure, meaning yesterday's storm beat the air pressure reading we had with a blizzard of 78. It was even lower than that, and it was near the all-time record low of 28.88. And that was on March 3rd of 2023. Remember that because Friday, we might be close to a record low air pressure again as another storm moves in. Track is going to take it over this area, which is why our pressure is going to be so low. And it's going to put the heavy snows again north of here. Winter storm watches are already out across these areas. I think the Brazil, or the, not the Brazil, the Chicago and the Rockford area, probably looking at an all out blizzard up there. So if you know anybody in that area, Friday late in the day, probably blizzard conditions across northern Indiana and northern Illinois. 35 and 31 temperatures didn't move a whole lot today, but that translates into an above normal day with the temperatures. After midnight, we picked up just a tiny bit of rain, 1.3 inches so far for the month, and plenty more is on the way as we head for Friday and that big storm as it moves in. River stage in Terre Haute rising rapidly now. It's going to go up even higher because of all the rain that's coming with that storm on Friday. What are we tracking? Well, another big storm heads this way, colder for the weekend, maybe a little bit of some snow late in the weekend. I don't think it's big, and then bitter cold, the coldest we've seen so far this winter by early next week. At the airport in Terre Haute right now, we're at 33. The pressure's still pretty low, but again, not anything like it was yesterday. Temperatures low to mid 30s, so chilly, but not bad. There's a clipper system right there. See that spin? That's going to kind of spin through the northern areas tonight, but the bigger storm is way out there. That's the one that will be arriving on Thursday night and Friday. So this first one will come through tonight with some cloud cover, and there may be a few snow showers across our far northern area, maybe the northern half, but that would be minor, nothing big out of that. Nothing showing up on the Dorset Automotive Doppler radar. So here we go then, future cast. Nothing tonight, nothing during the day tomorrow. Enjoy the day tomorrow. It's going to be the best day we're going to have in a long time. Then as we get into early Friday morning, around 3 o'clock, maybe some rain or a bit of a mix for a while. That should translate probably into rain for much of us by 5 o'clock. But the northern areas may have a little snow for a while. Then it goes all rain as we head through the day Friday. That rain could be heavy on Friday. Some of you may get over 2 inches of rain. And then on the back side, see the clock up here? By about 9, 10 o'clock, we change it into some snow. But by that time, we're not talking about huge snow amounts. So mostly rain, a little snow on the back side, and then much colder weather will soon follow. So here's your forecast for tonight. Then we'll be looking at a lot of cloud cover, maybe a few snow showers in the north, 32 for the low. Then for tomorrow, best day we're going to have in a while. Mild temperatures actually, 41 for the daytime high. And then after that, here comes the rain. It may start as a bit of a mix, changes to all rain Friday, then back to snow as it ends, but it's mostly rain, much colder after that, sub-zero temperatures by early next week.